for four units. The fast-moving alpha particles have a considerable amount of energy. It was expected that alpha particles would be deflected by subatomic particles in gold atoms. Since the alpha particles were much heavier than the protons, we did not expect to see large deflections. Hi, this is Rishi Kumar of Great Nine, and I am here to explain the Lotus Earth observation. Most of the fast-moving alpha particles pass through the gold foil. Some of the alpha particles were deflected by the foil by small angles. Surprisingly, one out of every 12,000 alpha particles appeared to rebound. Hi, I'm Hanika Green. Now I'm going to explain about the Hewlett Force conclusion. Most of the space inside atom is empty because most of the alpha particles pass through the gold foil without getting deflected. Very few particles were deflected from the atom, indicating that the positive charge of the atom occupies very little space. A very small fraction of alpha particles were deflected by 180 degrees, indicating that all the positive charge and mass of the gold atom were concentrated in a very small volume within the atom. So one of the my students, Darren, is going to explain it about the Rutherford atomic model drawbacks. The drawbacks of the Rutherford atomic model, it did not account for the stability of the atom. It did not explain why electrons do not lose energy and fall into the nucleus. It did not explain why electrons do not lose energy and fall into the nucleus. Yeah, very good, Darren. Well done. Luther's well called nuclear model. There is a positively charged center in an atom called the nucleus. Nearly the mass of an atom resides in the nucleus. The size of a nucleus is very small as compared to the size of an atom. It is 1 by 1 lakh size of an atom. Electrons revolve around the nucleus in a circular path. So, Rutherford model compared with the solar system. So, like this, uh, electrons are revolving around the nucleus. So, here planets, how it is revolving around the sun, same like that, electrons is also revolving around the nucleus. So, that's why Rutherford comparing with the solar model. I hope, my dear students, are you understood about this one? Rutherford atomic. Thank you, sir. We are from Jets School and we are the genius.